Greetings from Jivras Technologies. In this video, we are going to see how to use Sheet Director. Sheet Director is a G Suite add-on that works on top of Google Sheet and integrates with a number of applications. So it helps to manage and control bidirectional data flow between Google Sheets and several other apps. So you can use Sheet Director to query from multiple application and present the data back into Google Sheet or you can take data from Google Sheet and post it into those applications. So let us see how it works. Open a Google Sheet, launch Sheet Director. It will present a number of applications that are available that you can connect from Sheet Director. These are the list of applications that is currently available and it is a growing list. So in this demo, let us look at how we can connect with Google Contacts and pull the Google Contacts into Google Sheet as well as post contacts from Google Sheet into Google Contacts. So let me choose Google Contacts as an app. Let me name it as Get Contacts. So before do executing this, let me show you what I have in Google Contacts. So in Google Contacts, that is contacts at google.com, I have four contacts that have been listed here. So when I execute this, I'm expecting that those four contacts gets downloaded and presented into this Google Sheet here. So let's try that. I'll have to select the destination sheet that is my contacts here. So you can now see that all this contact information is presented here, right? So you can also schedule this to download. You can also send out a notification when scheduled execution is done. Okay, so now let us create another service for posting new contacts that I have in another tab here. I have three contacts. I want to post these things so that it should appear along with my existing contacts here. For this again, I'm going to create a new service. Choosing Google contacts. This time I'm going to select a service called post contacts. When I choose this, I'm given two options, apply a template or set up manually. So this time I'll show how to set it up manually. Click on the setup manually. Then we have to choose from which source sheet we want to take the data from and post it into Google Contacts. So that is from new contacts I want to take it. Once the source sheet is selected, next is we need to configure when we are posting these records into Google Contacts, which column needs to be updated with the status and results. So I don't have any other column for status and results, so I can ask Sheet Director to create columns. If you see that there is a status column created, I will also create a result column. So result column. So when this record is posted, whether it is posted successfully or there is a failure, those information will be shown here and the result typically will have link to the posted record. Okay, so the next is to set up the mapping. If you look at this, there are two fields from contacts which are mandatory. We can add more fields here. So first let us map whatever is mandatory fields. So given name and family name. So here we have first name and family name. So 
let me do some intelligent mapping and see if it's something is getting automatically mapped yes one is getting automatically mapped the family name is directly mapped so family name in google contact is mapped to my sheet header here family name so given name i want to map it to first name now i have some more information that is like email so i can add this So let me add this as an email address work. So for email address work, I am going to map this email column. So my mapping is done, it is ready. So I can go and execute. When I press execute, it will check how many records are ready for posting and then list all those things here. So number of records ready to post is 3 because I have 3 records. So now it is ready to post. So let me go ahead and post it. When I post it, you can see that the status is updated with posted successfully and there is a link associated with that. So if I go back to Google contacts and refresh it, now you will see the additional three records which are getting added, Mark, Phil and Tim. So that is what was here. Okay, so now let us see how to use a templated way of posting records into Google Contacts. Let me create another service for Google Contact. I will choose Post Contact. This time I will pick up Apply Template instead of setting up manually. When I press apply template, it will give you a sample uh, spreadsheet or sample uh, sheet with the, with the sample data. So if you see that there are three records which has come in, a lot of columns have been added here. And it also has the status and result. And when I apply template, everything gets automatically mapped. So it's all ready, right? So, you can just go ahead and change this, If you can remove this and then uh, put whatever uh, the, the contact information that you have and then update it here. Then once it is ready, you can go ahead and execute. For this demo purpose, I am going to use the same contacts and going to execute it. So let us look at Google contacts, currently it has seven contacts that has been listed here we are going to post another three contacts so let us try that so it says three records are ready to post let us look at the status the status is ready to post it can be empty or ready to post So when I am posting it, the status is changing and the link is also changing. So you can click on the particular link and then reach to the corresponding contact also. Or you can, you can see the full list of contact here. So we have added Albert, Bruce and one more person and Cynthia. And Cynthia. So all three contacts are added along with a lot more details that we have in that spreadsheet. So it is that simple to configure Sheet Director to connect with Google Contact and interact with. Similarly, Sheet Director can be used for connecting with a number of other applications to query as well as post data to and from Google Sheet. Hope you find this useful. Thank you.